By working step five, we are challenging the three main rules entrenched in our souls as the result of growing up in a dysfunctional home. These rules are don't talk, don't trust, and don't feel. Growing up in a dysfunctional family meant not trusting who you, what you were seeing or what your parents said. Abuse was often minimized or blamed on another cause, which resulted in the child not trusting his or her perceptions. The don't talk rule has its origins in homes where, off, where children were often told to shut up or be quiet whenever they attempted to speak or express a thought. Other children were ignored under the don't talk rule and therefore stopped talking. The don't talk rule also means the family does not talk about things that are important, such as feelings or spirituality. The rule is also a method of keeping sick family secrets. The don't feel rule of dysfunctional homes often means that feelings were unimportant or too scary to address. Before recovery, we could be accused of being too sensitive or of being immature if we expressed feelings in a dysfunctional home. To avoid such ridicule, we usually shut down our emotions. The don't feel rule is the rule that underlies our ability to stuff feelings such as fear. Some of us lived in constant fear of being ridiculed, teased, or battered by an abusive parent. By the time we reach recovery, many of us are numb from living with fear. We cannot call the feeling of fear into focus, but it is there, driving our hypervigilance. In step five, we finally get to talk about what matters rather than denying or filtering what happened. It is a critical step for any adult child hoping to face the effects of a dysfunctional upbringing and to continue to grow in the ACA program. In step five, we talk about what happened. We trust another person to hear us without judgment. We feel the feelings that come up with the help of our ACA support group and a sponsor or counselor. We know that breaking dysfunctional family rules does not come easily for adult children. These rules are similar to the survival traits that we use to live through our childhoods. We learn to trust these rules and to use them in our daily lives. However, the rules have outlived their usefulness. They are strangling our lives and our relationships. We have to find another way to live with feelings, with trust, and with a voice. For some ACAs, the fifth step will be the first time they have told anyone some of their most troublesome memories of abuse. We know the courage this will take to move forward with step five. We know you will be letting someone in to the compartment of your mind that you may have thought would remain tightly shut forever. But these are the very secrets and problematic memories that need letting out. You are finally safe to take this action in ACA with a sponsor, trusted counselor, or spiritual leader.